Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. We have an interesting problem here to solve. We have an ellipse. It's given in a general form, and we we're supposed to find where the focus point or foci is. In order to find a foci, we needed to see if the ellipse is elongated, th elongated this way or it's elongated this way. Okay. A lot of students ask me, well, how do I determine which one? Well, you know, the easiest one actually to remember is the big big boy gets fat. Sounds funny, but here's the thing. Whichever axis has the largest coefficient on the bottom is the one that ellipse elongated on. Now it may or may not make sense at this point, but let's simplify it and we'll go along and say why this one makes sense. First thing we're going to do is ellipse is kind of like circle in that we have to normalize. We've got to compare the x, major x, and the minor x. And then by doing that, we're going to divide by 36. So we have x squared divided by 36 and 4y squared divided by 36. Then we can normalize into 1. Well, because we have to normalize, we've got to compare which one is bigger than the other one. Let's simplify it. This one become a 4. And this one become a 9 equal to 1. Okay. And then x squared divided by 2 squared. The reason I have to shrink it into a square form is that this one is the A and then this one is B. As I said earlier, big boy gets fat, or whoever is the bigger one is the one takes dominate the other one. So y is the three units here, and x is two units, as you can see, Elon gets around the y-axis. So that's the first point. The second point, we need to find foci. Foci is, let's blow this one up a little bit. It's elongated along the y-axis. I'm sure my ratio is off a little bit, so bear with me here. This one is 3, this is 2, foci is somewhere here, this is the c. Now, normally we have c squared equal to a squared plus b squared. This is the worst thing you can do, absolutely, when you're trying to find the foci. It has no resemblance or no connection with Pythagorean theorem whatsoever, so don't even bother to use that. What you do, or what you can do is this, in this ellipse here, this side is A, which is 3. You're trying to find a small one here. So C is equal to C squared equal to large number, which is 3 squared, minus the small number, which is 2 squared. So we have C squared equal to 9 minus 4, which is 5. So C is equal to plus minus radical 5. Since it's elongated along y-axis, and the two points for the full side becomes x is 0, y is plus radical 5, and 0 and minus radical 5. Okay. So the whole process is not hard so long we're looking for. And hopefully this earthy analogy makes sense to you. So whichever one dominates is the ellipse go along with the bigger one bigger number. Okay, so that's the point. And the second point, like I said here, do not think of this as anything to do with Pythagorean theorem. I always take the larger number, x, x s, so this one is 3, minus the smaller one that gives you the full sign. All right, hope it's clear. Love to hear any comments you have. Let me know if you liked the video or if it helped you. Until next time, have a confident day.